Hey guys, it's me, Meaner. Here we are back to Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, level 4, Blue Sky Palace. We're done with the annoying stuff, so now we can actually get into the fun part of the stage. Kirby Rocket's Big Blast Off. What am I- this is actually one of my favorite levels here. I mean, this is actually an introduction to the whole rocket thing, spoiler. But still, I enjoy it. I enjoy the whole thing here. We get blasted off by the wind over and get a current updraft into... Uh, space or something? Hey, it's a little painting thing. What's the line gonna draw this time? <laughs> it's Koo! And now it's a spaceship. Kirby looks super angry. And now we're gonna enter the spaceship and destroy it from the inside. Kirby is good at doing that. He did it with a halberd? He'll do it here too, darn it. Either way, Rocket's quite easy to control. You just move the status around that way, and he follows it. Quite simple. Hey look, shots those. In order to avoid those, just pretty much draw a line underneath them, and that's it. Very easy to kill stuff with. Very easy to guide Kirby with. I like that. Go up here, Kirby. Make sure you go through all the little spinners. We go through here, and then you got a hundred stars. Thank you for telling me that. What happens at 100 stars? You're going to see. But not right here. I'm going to save those 100 stars for something. Go through all... Kill all those. Get all those. And now we get this little pet brew. And blast ourselves through here. Grab that last star. And then... We star dash like you would normally with the rocket. Or like you would normally with Kirby. Except now the rocket kind of does the exact same thing. But yep, we have another Star Dash saved up too, so there you go. I like Kirby Rocket. And notice this is a new mechanic. Unlike those little tiki things we saw, once you hit the button, it's gone. You don't have to worry about, you have to worry about like touching it again and deactivating or anything like that. Once it's hit, it's hit. Let's grab as many stars from this as we can. And let's head off. We'll see another new mechanic here. Pretty much just teaching us how these little button things work. Just keep guiding Kirby along his little path and enter away. And the doors close off behind us. Huh. This is interesting. Don't press the button. Hmm. Uh, you're right. I shouldn't press it. Let me go through the door. Aw. Fine. I'll press the button. Self-destruct sequence activated. Oh, but a line has an idea. You can draw a stylus to draw a path to the exit. So, this is very interesting. You can actually draw a path. What was the path I used before? I don't remember. Oh gosh, this is going to be terrible. Uh, I think I went something like... This... And uh, go through there, through there, grab that, and exit. Yeah, yeah, that sounds. I'll try to escape and see what happens. Ugh, okay. Let's get the crap out of here. Go through all these. You'll see that treasure chest there. Don't worry about it yet. But, let's just burst through here. No, Kirby. Go the right way. Hit that switch. I'm going to go ahead and just bust through here. Try to grab as many as I can. Grab that star that's over there. Get another star dash, too, while we get to be some good time. Star dashes are your friend, because they actually help you. No, I didn't want to use that one yet. Aw, oh, dang it. Okay, quickly. Well, at least I actually bust through that. That's, that's fine. Actually, I didn't need to go back. But I still use that. I still have another star dash. Okay, I'm, I'm wasting time. Dang it, Kirby. All right. And I missed that one, too. Oh, man, I messed it up horribly. Oh, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to redo this. I know I am. Yep. I'm definitely going to be doing this one. Because I made too many mistakes. Yep. Well, uh, might as well just reset it. Time's up. Either way, it just restarts you back at the drawing the stylus thing. 
All right, let's try this again. Hopefully this time I'll actually follow the stylus and actually go the right way. Grab that. There. Down. Around. Grab these things. Uh, grab that and escape. Yeah, let's do this. You want to get as many stars as you can, by the way, because, well, if you don't get enough stars, you're just not going to be able to get a gold. Period. But, actually, yeah, I'll just grab that chest while I'm at it now. I'm close enough to it, and I'm not going to go any more out of my way than I have to. Get that. Alright, so, so far, so good. I'll grab that star. Star dash our way to victory here. Grab that time. Grab that chest. Star dash our way to victory again. Doing much better this time. So grab that. Wanna grab that, Kirby? Alright. I'm gonna grab this. Plus through here. And we still have plenty of time left. So hopefully I got enough time, but let's go through these and escape. Hopefully I didn't miss any treasure chests that I didn't follow the path on. Nope, I got them all. Sweet. Let's just keep on pushing our way over here real quick. And you'll see all these stars start to fall. Just wait for them to drop and stand. And now you just dash to grab all of them. Yay! And now let's wait for the little uh, book to p appear here real quick. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. I'll just wait here. That's fine. Well, that comes back in the corner again. See, now it starts changing up the pattern a bit. So... Uh... One more turn around and it should appear on this side, so I'm gonna get ready. There we go. Got it. Sweet. That was simple. What? Silver? How what did I miss a star or something? Uh well if I get all the chests again, I'll get a gold, so or at least get the fifty thing at the end, I'll get a gold. You need seven hundred, but either way. Let's see what's in the figurines here. We get Kirby Rocket. We get a Shotso. We get a Kirby Feast. We get Adventure Remix. And a Superstar Ultra Remix. Alright, so I got a goal on that as usual from getting the chest back again. Yeah, I know. Challenge, whatever. And of course, the boss of World 4, a Sky World, is... You know who it's going to be? It's going to be Crack... Oh, Sky High Wispy Woods. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, the only three bosses you're going to see in this game, they're going to repeat a second time like they did in Canvas Curse. You'll pretty much have rematches with the same three bosses. Really, really missed opportunity, but whatever. Let's Let's just do this. Hmm. There are more wind gusts this time. That sounds interesting. Make sure you don't get hurt at this section here because uh, when you're taking no damage, I believe this part actually counts for that. So, uh, just saying. Oh, hey, Wispy. What's up? Long time no see. I think it's been like, what, three worlds or something? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the Tree 1000! He's now metal! That's right, he is now impervious to all attacks except for star dashes. So uh, you can't just tap up him as much as you want. But, of course, you can have star dashes and. You can still do a lot of damage to him. I did almost a half, did almost double damage to him, like half the amount of damage to him already. So yeah, he is not really all too much more difficult than he was. But just stay over here to the side 
because those bombs do a lot of damage. And, uh, eventually he's going to bully to the side and drop more bombs at you. So at that point, you want to avoid him. But, at this time here, you also summon enemies too. Those things, those centipede looking things, are annoying to deal with. So try to avoid them at all costs. But if you notice at this health now, he actually summons a spiny thorn wall in front of him. So uh, you can't actually summon, and you can't actually star dash him when he actually has those little star, dash, star bits summoned. So uh, if you do here, and then star dash, and then dash towards him, he is now dead. So he's not too much harder, but he does have a few new tricks. But either way, your metal means nothing to me. You're still just a stump. Anyway, yay, we win! Yay, we got a star! You clear level 4, yeah, 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 all that stuff, whatever. But next time... And, oh, wait! No, so, that, yeah, let's get head out of this and actually do all the extra stuff, too. Let's look at the boss figurine for this one. Yes, there are also figurines for the repeat bosses, too. Let's see this. Ooh, he has little enemies next to him, too. Wispy Woods. Wispy Woods has gone metal, so normal attacks can't touch him. Sure, he may be powered up, but can he grow apples? The answer is still no. So Kirby is still equally as disappointed as he was before. Anyway, let's take a look at the secret diary entries now. Now that we did that, let's see here. Let's see, 11, 10, 8, 10 11, and 12. The Seven Worlds. Oh, this is interesting. Klesha used the stolen colors to create seven worlds, but now Kirby's planet is so drab. So yeah, Klesha is actually the one who actually made all these different worlds of colors. That's interesting. Oh, do you see, do you see those ones in the back? I haven't seen those ones yet. We see the tree, we see like a volcano, and uh, huh, what, what is that one at the end? Who knows? We still see Popstar there with no way to access it whatsoever. But, whatever. Sky Flying Boat. Klesha made this amazing flying ship. Pilot seat? That kind of looks like the Flood, actually. Super scary cannon, eek! Ha, huh, a slide? Ah, uh, I wish. These fire a bunch of shots. Bastron is powered by shock waves. So this thing is actually called Bastron. That's actually its, uh, its official name. So there's that. And then there's the Great Escape. Kirby's rocket is so roaring. Uh, Kirby's rocket's a roaring success. He's stronger than Bastron. Speaking of which, let's actually look at the figurine of Bastron there. Actually, since we did get that figurine, let's see here. Where is Bastron? We did get that figurine, right? I'm not crazy. Here we are. Bastron, originally designed for pleasure cruises, this flying monstrosity is now a giant battleship. There were plans to build a second one. But do you know, have any idea how much clay costs nowadays? More than you think. Huh. Well, too bad we destroyed it then. We destroyed our only uh, property, I guess. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So next time in Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, we're of course going to be heading over to the level 5 Orange Woodland. See you guys then.